Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a beautiful Berry Ford Fiesta walk around video. But before we do get started, if you are enjoying our content, why don't you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and any questions or comments you may have, please leave them in the comments section below. This here is a beautiful Berry Ford Fiesta Titanium Vignali MHEV. So it's a mild hybrid electrical vehicle. So there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge. Simply get in the vehicle, drive it like you normally would, and you'll get some really good MPG out the back of it. And that is thanks to the one litre EcoBoost engine that produces 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is then transmitted to the front wheels through a seven speed automatic gearbox. We are registered on a 72 registration, meaning we'll take forward warranty with us all the way until September 2025. The vehicle itself is extremely low mileage, and then 1,500 miles this one. But like always, I'll get you the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So sit pretty and let me take you around this gorgeous, beautiful Berry Fiesta. And the first thing we're going to do is remote central lock in, click unlock, and wake up the lights. The bits that are flashing are called daytime runners and they give you ultimate visibility no matter what the lighting condition. In your video they are going to appear to be flashing simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. But let me assure you they do not flash in real life. They are just to give you ultimate visibility when you need them. As you can see you've also got the indicators in there as well and these are the Ford LED headlights. They're some of the best headlights on the market today. Looking south quickly, we can have a quick look at the beautiful chrome titanium grill, if you'd like to call it that, a titanium grill there. So we've got the titanium chrome grill making it look beautiful with a beautiful berry and the bits of chrome around the vehicle. Before we talk about the gorgeous alloy wheels, let's digest some sensors. There's a sensor there, if you can see it, that is for the automated lights. The sun goes down, it gets dark, the lights come on automatically for you. How lovely is that? If that wasn't enough, let's do the automated headlights, that one. Automated headlights, the traffic speed sign recognition software, and also the auto wipers. So we have a lot of automation and a lot of good sensors to go at. Back down to earth now, we can have a look at these beautiful 17 inch machine cut alloy wheels so the machine cut you can tell they are because you've got the silver shiny face at the front with the magnetic gray charcoal -y color just behind them they have the silver painted brake calipers as standard and these are fitted with continental contact six tires as well and they are very very good condition plenty of happy motoring on those yet we're going to do keyless entry in a second but let's just look to the sky because we have a panoramic glass opening roof it's like a slim line design so it does sit nice and low to the vehicle uh, so it's not going to be creating much drag and obviously a complimentary fly catcher at the front i'm only joking that's to distort the air inside the cabin so you get a horrible wind noise if you've ever opened a window on the motorway you know exactly what i'm talking about Okay, back down to earth now. So we're gonna lock the vehicle on the key, like so. And, and then I'm going to demonstrate keyless entry to you all. So you've got the four lines on the door handle. A quick tap behind the door will unlock the vehicle. And then a tap on the four lines will lock the vehicle. Unlock, lock, unlock, lock. Anyway, you get the principle. So really nice keyless entry with a keyless start stop button also. With the two-tone effect of the gloss black roof, for example, then we also have rear privacy glass. And that stretch, you guessed it, all the way around the rear. Now we are at the offside rear of the vehicle. We're gonna show you a bit of a, a body condition report, if you like. So we're gonna start nice and high up, and I'm just gonna sway ever so gently, hopefully giving you some nice seductive angles on all of those beautiful, beautiful berry body panels I've said beautiful a few times today there we are so that is the nearest offside rear wheel we have rear discs for those that are interested coming around the back of the Fiesta now we can start to see rear parking sensors which are complemented beautifully 
with a high definition reversing camera so let me just give you a nice little zoom in on that now you guessed it we're going to give the near side the exact same treatment so we're going to start nice and high and i'm going to sway my way down the near side of the body showing you how beautiful it is so link that round to the near side rear wheel and we'll follow that all the way to the near side front wheel and you get a look at that you can see the just how beautiful it all looks and the condition of the tire of course marvelous so that is the exterior all taken care of now we can open up the boot the tailgate whatever you would like to call it and we can see this side the boot so this one comes with a tire sealant kit and compressor to keep you going in the right direction if you ever needed directions of how to use that get in touch i'll show you exactly how to use it but spare wheels are available for this model if required but we have a quite a surprisingly large volume rear boot there so it is quite deep filling and quite high so you'll be just you'll be surprised of how much you can get in the rear of this vehicle okay we'll shut that up now and we'll come around and have a look inside the rear obviously i locked it on keyless entry so let me unlock the vehicle four electric windows and we have controls on every single door card isn't that lovely moving around now we can see the beautiful titanium interior it's very close to being like an active interior actually. so very close but it is the titanium interior so instead of the active having blue stitching this one has the lovely white stitching but it's still a part leather part suede interior so it's a nice soft touch on the base and the lower back section very durable very robust some materials it'll be easy to clean and it's going to last you forever we have an iso fixing seat on the near side rear and also the off side rear so both the kiddie seats be clipped in and nicely secured in transit these fiestas already come with floor mats in them and uh, they are matching with the same colour stitching as to what you get on your seat. If I put that back in the right area. There we are. So there's floor mats and there's the rear seats. Let's get the wind and have a look inside. So on the driver's door, four electric windows, mirror controls and interior locking. Turn that round once more. You can see the driver's and passenger seat. Again, it's the part leather part suede interior with some glorious white stitching there as well the manually adjustable seats you have the rear tilt there we have a height adjustment and forward and backward is done on the rail just below i'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now you're going to hear a bit of distortion on the microphone so just bear with me for a second okay. so we're inside the vehicle Foot on the brake, the light goes green. We can then power up the engine and power up everything else. So let me just set up yourself quickly. The volume needs to go down and the aircon needs to go off. Wonderful, okay. So this is a fully digital driver display. And I'm gonna control that driver display using the arrows on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. Giving you a quick tour from left to right, we have a coolant temperature sensor, we have a speedo in the middle, we have a hybrid gauge. Well, this part is a digital and customizable, so you can go through different things such as trip computers, we have two trip computers, fuel economy, calm screen, live tyre pressures. So, there's tons you can do with that. The right hand side again is an RPM gauge, we have a fuel gauge. And at the bottom there all the essential information you might need as a driver again we have the 141 for the fuel range we have ambient air temperature we've got a gear selector and we have the exact mileage which i actually got wrong i said it's 1500 it's actually 1200 or oh, 1215.1 to be precise so there we are so that is around the screen in question to zoom out once more the left hand side is where you'll find your cruise control buttons it's a very user-friendly place to have it right next to your left hand so it's easy to set your limiter adjust your cruising speed obviously you've got your volume switches there as well the crew the, the limiter on this vehicle works in association with the traffic speed sign recognition 
So what that means, it is actually an intelligent limiter. So when it sees a speed sign, you can set your limiter based on that road speed sign. So that's a little bit about the steering wheel and the driver display. If we were to now look in the center part, we're gonna do the sync module later, but we do have the BNO uprated sound system in here, and it sounds amazing. So if you're into your music, get yourself a car with a good sound system. Here is the Sync 3.4 monitor. We have the dark blue band at the bottom, so we know it's the uprated software. Let me give you a quick guide of that. So this is the home page, if you like. We can then click on audio at sources, and then we have FM, DAB, and Bluetooth audio. Come out of there once again, back to your home page, phone, predominantly for your Bluetooth connectivity. So if you have a, a phone that has Bluetooth, plug your phone in using Bluetooth and you can make all your calls and music through that. If you're lucky enough to have a more advanced smartphone, one that uses Apple, Apple or Android software, then you can then plug your phone in using a USB data port at the bottom and take advantage of most of the software on your phone onto this screen. By that I mean things such as music, audiobooks, podcasts, your voice assistant, navigation, quite a lot is transpired from your phone onto the screen. So this vehicle comes with a fantastic forward navigation. Let me give you a quick demonstration of that. Click the search bar, wait for the keyboard. Once the keyboard's up, you would like to come to Perkins, for example. Charlie Mike, 77, 6, Sierra Alpha. See how there's little to no lag at all on the keyboard there. So it's very nice and easy to plumb in your destination. And it's that easy. So we have very good navigation on board already. I'm going to pop my foot on the brake and pop the vehicle into reverse. And then we have the high definition reversing camera with the little lines to help you in and out the spaces. And equally, the top right hand corner is a proximity sensor for the rear parking sensors. Okay, I know the park rate is applied. So that is around the screen. Um, so there's tons of features on there. So I'm going to show you as well whilst we're here. The driver assistance pack. You have tons and tons of uh, software to keep you nice and safe on the road. Going to vehicle. I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of other things. Wipers. That's where your automatic rain sensing wipers are. And I've just clicked the wrong button. I was going to go to lighting and show you the auto high beam. So wonderful this is a very very well spec vehicle i'd like to get you I'd like to get to know this one and obviously we'll finish it off on your sound settings for your bno audio system so that's the screen i hope you enjoyed the tour any other questions give us a shout just quickly before we go i'll just show you around the rest of it heating ventilation and air conditioning controls we have fan speed temperature control we have a freeway heated drivers and passenger seat heated steering wheel and electronically heated front screen also down in that little cubby hole there is a wireless phone charging pad so if your phone does support wireless charging pop it down there in transit and it'll be nicely charged when you get to your destination if your phone doesn't support wireless charging you might need a 12 volt socket or a usb port so both of those just next to there seven speed automatic gearbox this is the control for that beautiful mode button church control button automated stop start this is an old school handbrake a lot of people ask me about that these days so i thought i'd show you thank you very much for watching this video if you did have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section below or give us a call 01376 550 899 thanks for watching subscribe and i'll speak to you all very soon